Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the moss stitch, which is also known as the linen stitch. An absolutely beautiful stitch. I love it. It makes a nice flat, dense texture. Works wonderfully in solid colors, changing color every row. Looks equally fantastic in one plain solid color and works really well in variegated yarns. There is nothing I don't like about this stitch. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Now the pattern multiple for the moss stitch is simply two. All that means is you're going to chain in multiples of two, 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 or an even number for as wide as you want your project to be. I'm just going to make a small sample today, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 16. So once you have your desired amount of chains, we're going to begin by working into the fourth chain from the hook. Now this loop on your hook does not count as anything. You only want to count these fully formed chains hanging down below. So count backwards, one, two, three, four. And into that fourth chain, we're going to work a single crochet. Now chain one, skip a chain, single crochet into the next. So skip a chain, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a chain, single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat this all the way down the row. Chain one, skip a chain, single crochet into the next. Now, once you reach towards the end of your row, this is where you need to make a decision whether you're continuing in the same color or if you want to change colors like in my blanket that I showed right in the very beginning. Now, because I want to show you how to do that, I'm going to be changing color on my very last stitch. So I've got two chains remaining. I'm going to chain one. And into this very last chain, I'm going to work my last single crochet, but I'm also going to change color. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook into the chain draw up a loop as if I was going to complete a single crochet but at this point I'm going to stop when I've got the two loops on my hook I'm going to cut my yarn for the color I'm currently working leave nice long tails that you can weave in afterwards I'm going to bring in my new color I'm going to lie it over my hook again leaving a long tail and I'm going to draw it through those two loops to change color now if you didn't want to change color just complete that last single crochet as normal. For row two, row two is the pattern repeat row. What that means is we're going to repeat row two over and over and over again until your project is the size that you want it to be. So we're going to chain two and turn our work. Now work a single crochet into the chain one space in between your single crochets from the row below. So into that space, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip the single crochet and work into the chain space next to it. So ignore your single crochet and work a single crochet into the space in between. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip that stitch, work into the chain one space beside it. Keep going, chain one, skip that single crochet and then add a single crochet into the space. This is why I love the moss stitch you're just working into spaces chain one skip a stitch work into the space once you reach the very end we're going to chain one 
skip this single crochet and we're going to work into this chain space right at the end here. Now again I want to change colour on this stitch so in this last single crochet I'm going to change colour. If you're not changing colour just complete your single crochet as normal. So I'm going to work my single crochet right into the end here and then I'm going to drop the yarn I'm currently working with and bring in my new colour and pull that through to complete my single crochet stitch. Then I'm going to trim off the silver yarn. So again, we're going to repeat the row that we just did. So chain two and turn your work. Place a single crochet into the chain one space in between your stitches from the row below. So just work right into that space. Chain one, skip your single crochet and work into the chain one space in between them. So right in here. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. Keep going, just repeating that. Chain one, skip your single crochet, single crochet into the chain one space next to it. Then to end the row, once you've finished working in between your stitches, you're going to chain one and end with a single crochet into this chain two space right at the very end. Don't forget this little gap here, right in there. If you were going to change color, this is the stitch to change color on, but I'll do a quick recap with the same color just so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna complete my single crochet as normal. And from here on, you're just repeating the same thing. Chain two, turn, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the stitch and single crochet into the chain one space. Work that all the way along. Once you reach the other side of your work, don't forget to chain one and end with your last single crochet into this chain two space right at the very end. This is the one that you can miss, so definitely make sure that you are getting that very last stitch. So you continue repeating row two for as long as you want your project to be. And when you reach the very last stitch on your very last row and your project is the size that you want it to be, chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a length to weave in, pull that up and out, pull it tight, and your project is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to crochet the moss stitch. If you are left with lots of ends, then I have a video to help you out that is on screen now or down in the comments section down below. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.